What's new in Paranoid Android Quartz 5? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is new in Paranoid Android version Quartz 5, which is of course based on Android 10. And this might very well be the last Paranoid Android build for Android 10 because they are supposedly starting to work on Android 11. Right off the bat, you will notice that the security patch has been updated to September 5th, 2020. Next up, they have added app lock. Where can you find this application lock? Well, you can go into settings, security, bam, here it is, app locker. Now, once you enter your pin, you will be greeted with a screen wherein you can select the applications which you want to lock and on top you also have a toggle to authenticate only once and once you enable this toggle the app will stay unlocked for 15 seconds after you exit the application and you also have another option besides each of the application you lock so this here is the option i'm talking about and what this is going to do is it is going to show or hide the notification content on a per app basis for the applications which you have locked for me i have locked the phone application and let us try to access it bam there it is you can see that the application is locked and the good part here is that i was testing corvus os yesterday and they also implemented this app lock by paranoid android however when you open the application in corvus os there was a jitter whenever you opened a specific app which was locked that jitter is not present over here and the animation you can see is pretty smooth and you also have the option of either using your fingerprint and there it is working like a boss or you can also use your pin so let us open the phone application there it is it is locked you can use your pin instead of the fingerprint before we continue i would also like to add that in case you want to have a look at the features of paranoid android quartz 4 i do have a separate video for that which can be found in the pinned comment on this video next up for quartz 5 they have also added dc dimming so you can go into settings display and you can tap on advanced bam here it is you have the option for dc dimming you can enable the toggle and disable it if you tap on dc dimming you get more customization about dc dimming so tap on schedule and you have these different options so you can schedule your dc dimming and you can also turn it on automatically when brightness is below a specific threshold once you select that option you can use this slider to determine the brightness threshold using the percentages here it is you will see that it is now set as 46 and in case you want to turn it on right now you also have the option of turn on now and the toggle is now enabled now dc dimming is a feature which is generally used on amoled panels so i'm not sure if devices like the poco f1 which have a lcd panel have this feature or not however once i install it on the poco f1 i will let you peeps know about it next feature they talk about is the fact that they have added something called lock screen smart space so what is this for starters you do need to have always on display enabled and once it is enabled you will see that i have the temperature or the weather on my lock screen and this is what they are calling as lock screen smart space to enable this all you need to do is enable always on display enable your location and you should have this new feature of lock screen smart space next up they also say that they have added new fod animation and icon so this is the icon which they have added let me try to figure out the brightness a little bit so here is the new fod icon they are talking about and we can also unlock our device so that you can see the animation let me figure it out there it is that is the animation which they have added now something irritating which i find in paranoid android builds is that the lock screen wallpaper issue let me tell you what i am talking about so here it is i lock my device and aod kicked in however let us try to press the power button you will see the wallpaper is initially small 
and then it expands to the full screen there it is one more time this issue has been present in paranoid android for quite some time and i'm not sure why they are not able to fix it next up they have also added something called permissions hub so you can go into settings privacy bam here it is on top you will see a graph with different applications so if you tap on phone you will get the dashboard for the phone application similarly select see all in dashboard these are your different options tap on the three dot menu on the top right you can sort it by time filter by permissions filter by time show system and advanced settings so this is the new permission hub which you find in paranoid android quads 5 next up they have added something called ringer mode gestures where do you find this you can go into settings system gestures you will see the option of prevent ringing so when you press power and volume up what is going to happen as you can see the option which i have chosen is cycle through the different modes so let us try it and you need to look for a notification at the bottom here so let us press it simultaneously volume up and power bam calls and notifications will vibrate calls and notifications will be muted and calls and notifications will ring so this is like having the oneplus alert slider kind of situation on your device without actually having an alert slider and there it is peeps those are the new features of paranoid android quads 5 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you